The fourth consecutive week, the teachers are on the picket line. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos is live now with the latest. Tracy, the two sides met yesterday for 11 hours and still couldn't come to an agreement. Absolutely, Lee. A marathon negotiations yesterday and today, still the same old thing. Teachers on the picket line. You know, this week here in Strongsville is spring break for the teachers and students, but teachers were still on that picket line today for the fourth week. Teachers walked out on strike on March 4th. Baldwin Wallace University Business Clinic Director Phil Bessler says that the strike is having an economic impact on the region as well as the teachers. The current situation is an absolute lose-lose situation. The teachers will never recover the cost to them during the remainder of this new contract. So that, yes, they're they're standing on principle and they need to defend their principles, but the economic impact on them for the money they've lost and the longer the strike goes on, it will never be recovered in future contracts. And no new talks between the two between the two sides are scheduled. And just a side note here, I spoke with the assistant superintendent of the Brunswick City Schools just a short time ago, and she tells me that they have answered a lot of calls and a lot of questions from Strongsville parents asking about the open enrollment policy in Brunswick City Schools. Now she says that they haven't taken any applications yet, but they are answering a lot of phone calls. Perhaps a sign that teacher that parents rather here are getting a little bit. Um, upset, more upset with the whole situation. Reporting live in Strongsville, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.